It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Saints and the 49ers coming up next. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head -head as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. First play, and Purdy wants to throw it. Connects with Kittle underneath. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. They go play action here. Purdy. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. And they've got it right across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Play action. Now Purdy. Now he's flushed out right. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's an early scramble from the view positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Jennings. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, 
They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. A second down throw for Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third and three. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Back to throw, Purdy. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a Niners first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kim. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. We're scoreless after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Four yards to go on second down from the seven as they've got it as we resume action. Purdy bootlegging it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. On third down, it's Purdy. That is caught by the tight end kill. Touchdown, 49ers. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. Field goal by Moody. He's back out to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. And his task in this situation is making sure that his team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you gotta attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you gotta move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Carr gonna lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. In motion right, Alave. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Camara. He's still on his feet. Alvin Kamara. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, 75 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. <laughs> and one play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big-time play, big-time result. 
Blake Groupie now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's been perfect through the air, 9-9 nine of nine so far, including that touchdown on the last drive. As his guys start again, first and 10. Purdy now to throw. And this turns into a nice game with a slot at the end. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Purdy now to throw off the play action. His throw is going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now a second and ten. The throwing here, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 39. A gain there of 21 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Wreaking havoc was Nathan Shepard, the D tackle. We've hit the two minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. So after the sack here, second and 14. Here's Purdy. This is Jennings. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it brings up third and five now. Now Purdy. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Purdy's throw complete here to Ayu. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Fighters. will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. 
What a great way to end the half. A yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Moody good with the extra point and that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drive in total eight plays and it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with the touchdown reception. Send this one away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. And the Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. First and ten. Here's Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. Meanwhile, Carr's throw complete there to Thomas. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a third down. To throw, it's Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. That's what it is. That's what it is, Second and a couple. Here's Carr to throw. Downfield, and he's got Olave. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 35. 22 yards there, a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. We saw a fine performance in the first half from the former Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. He came on after a slow start to fire two second-quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. State's going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. But, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Car now on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback. And you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. A big time play there for New Orleans. 45 yards. This might writing it down on my notes. I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Carr. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty marker is on the field. Now that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. Into the red zone. It's Carr. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. 
They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Carr. And he is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Saints have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. There's receiver Brandon Ayuk as San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, <laughs> don't you? Yes, they, you do. You get you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Here's a second and eight. Purdy looking to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Third and four. Back to throw, Purdy. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They juked him. And he'll be taken down after a decent game, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter play. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now second and three. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's gonna have a Niners first down. His good running gets him to about the 34. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Up the gut, McCaffrey. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. 
Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Purdy completes this one here to McCaffrey. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Purdy from the gun. Completes it to Jennings. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Purdy to throw it on first down. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now first and goal. Here's Purdy to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. Oh, I know it goes against the green here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Purdy to throw. That is caught by the tight end kill. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the 49ers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Moody good with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. Oh, a good look in Now on the return, oh no, the ball is loose. So time for Carr and the Saints. Down 21 to 17, a minute 16 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're gonna take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Here's first and goal. Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. He's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off 
question mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Throwing his car. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So back to back incompletions now, third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Car to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. But that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. The noise deafening. Fourth and goal. Now Carr, got to have this one. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And he is going to be out of bounds a mile away from that yellow line, and that will become a turnover on downs. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. So a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey dancing away at the 35. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Carr. Connecting with Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Oh, what a play, but he couldn't get out of bounds. And you've got no timeouts. They've got to get to the line of scrimmage and spike it.
One final try now for Carr. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play. And getting into midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.